guys and girls, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna do a video here and some still pictures as well intermixed with a large sheep's head that my wife caught here a while back. Matter of fact, we both had one on at the same time. I didn't have my drag set and while I was trying to net her fish, mine just straightened the hook because I was using these uh, Fella Light uh, kale hooks that I really like they don't make anymore by Eagle Claw. Anyway, to get back to it, this one you'll see from the photos is a big old one you can tell by its teeth. It hadn't been to the dentist in a long time. And uh, after we show the pics of the fish she caught, we're going to show you some video on how to clean that sheep's head. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, remember, always come to the top and on the soft spot. Using the front of the knife and your head. Now on these tough sheep's head, it's going to be a little harder to cut the head off than it would be on a trout. A red come up behind that little bone, the wing bone there behind the head. Be careful not to cut yourself. And when you get in there, cut as well as you can. And then come on the other side. And then you want to come back <clears throat> when you get down into it a little bit just take it hold it by the eyes and just break back on the head a little bit once you break that joint then you can finish cutting through and up <laughs> that fish swallowed monica's hook that's why i didn't straighten it out like it did mine now it's easy to come Turn the fish up and cut through the two collarbones. It's a lot safer, especially when I'm doing this one with the scales on. And then come back and take out your uh, entrails and then wash it well. Do it. You, you film or something? Okay, now we have it rinsed out well. I always like to have everything as clean as possible. Uh, it would be a little easier for you if you don't want to do it with the scales on, but it just creates such a mess scaling these things. I usually use the scales on. Be careful. Take it easy on those anal fins and dorsal fins because they can stick you. Come up and over that vertebra like we always teach you. Don't ride it and leave meat underneath the vertebra. always wanting to rub that knife edge on the bone. You want to feel that bone so you get real close to it. Work it right on back down to your tail. Keep working till you get in the vertebrae down on the other side. rib bones loose from the backbone. Once you get at that point, you can come back on the other side. Turn it around. And then cut the bones you need to get out. And there's a nice big fat fillet. Now we'll take on 
with the anal fin just like you do everything else. Be careful of those fins sticking out there. Don't get one under your fingernail. Don't stick your fingers and you'll feel it for you. Definitely really be careful when you run that nose back up on it so you don't get yourself stuck again. See that little groove in there again? Just work your knife inside of that. Just reverse it from what we did on the other side, working along that curved edge of that knife. This knife's got plenty of backbone. You don't have to worry about bending it in any way. And this wooden handle so much better than those plastic handles because it doesn't slip in your hand like the other ones did. Once you get to that point, on this back side, it'll be a little easier for you just to flip your fish over and just tap those rib bones where they join into the backbone. Instead of trying to cut back when it's slippery, It'll move on you a little bit more when it's so fresh. I'm taking my time because I don't want to get stuck by those things. Boy, look at that. You can read the newspaper through that half, can't you? You can't fry that. I'm getting that slime off the back of that so it won't slip on me as much and I still like to put my little tile down sometimes to keep it from slipping like you see here. Now you come inside with the rib bone just turn your knife edge up. time asked me why he thought my knife had two edges to it he didn't see me flipping around now normally I would take I'm just doing this for this demonstration I'm showing you to get those rib bones out in case you want to leave them normally on a sheep's head I would just remove all of that and give up the waste I know I'm all about not wasting any meat but those bones are so deep seated you can see it goes right to the flesh now if you want to stuff it with some crab meat or something and brawl it uh, hole that's all well and good and if that's the case you'd want to scale it first don't do it like I did it here with the scales on uh, cut on both sides of your center bones that go back to the high side of the flesh use your thumb and your fingers as a pair of pliers to help pull that out now if you're going to put that on the grill like you do in New Orleans with redfish and call it redfish on the half shell you basically finished at that point and then you can just uh, take that cavity if you'd like where the rib cage is and stuff it. Now we're coming back and skinning this one with our 14 inch skinning knife. And we won't get the whole fillet under the collarbone like we normally do on other fish. So we're gonna just come back and get that high side of the meat. And normally what you just saw me take away is what I would keep on a, uh, she said, but on this one I want to eat that collarbone. So I'm just taking that off and just discarding the skin with the scales on. And that's all it is. And then we'll reverse that same procedure on the other side. There goes the seagulls. They always know I'm cleaning fish. There we are on the other side, taking out those rib bones. get on both sides you see you can see the flesh down in there where I had to cut and get all those rib bones out if you want to cook it with that collarbone in it. And if you don't put it on the grill make sure you scale this fish first. Oh, left a little bone right there. Alright that's good. Okay guys in the future we're going to show you uh, some seafood cooking of the sheep's head as well. Some photos we have of it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, do it, give us a thumbs up, hit the bell, and uh, don't forget again, take a kid fishing. Thanks again for watching. Have a good day.